Okay, you guys want to go to McDonald's? McDonald's. Get some good podcasting going, hopefully. Second, girls want to go. All right. of the Trinidad and Sunnyland mobile home parks are facing eviction. La mayor parte de las personas que... Most of the people who live here are low-income people. Luis Vindel has lived here for 22 years. Right. Like most residents, he owns his mobile home, but rents the land beneath it. When a developer bought this park last year, it raised the rent on each lot between $250 and $350, about a 50% increase. That is an abuse, a violent abuse against all of us who live here. Vindel and several other residents sued the landlord, arguing the increase does not represent a fair market rate. We've had success with defending the evictions. Nejla Calvo is a staff attorney at Legal Services of Greater Miami. She presents dozens of Sunnyland and Trinidad's residents. Mobile home parks are the last form of non-subsidized affordable housing. What we're seeing, unfortunately, is that these mobile home parks, as they're getting bought up by developers and as they're increasing their rents or closing down for redevelopment, they're not, those affordable housing units are not being replaced. We're just losing that. It's not just mobile home parks. Miami is one of the least affordable cities for housing in the country. Increasing density in single-family areas. Annie Lord is the executive director of Miami Homes for All, a nonprofit research and policy organization working on affordable housing. We have both a low-wage economy, right, and we oh, also I have can't. high cost. Um, real estate. In fact, more than half of households in Miami are considered my phone is like ridiculously Meaning residents slow. spend more than a third of their incomes on rent. On my way now for lunch period, where do you want to meet? Question mark. I was going to drive to Haley, but do you want to just go to the golf club? Question mark. Are you going to behave?
schedule a reminder to Schedule a reminder tomorrow at noon to figure out how many people purchased from the trunk show and the total percentages and, and amount. Thank you guys.